Good evening traders, it's 9.50 on Thursday. Sorry I haven't got a video out in a while, but I'm gonna start getting active again. Uh, there's been a lot of things going on. I'm actually in the middle of opening up a new business uh, in the next two months, so I've been planning all that out, creating business plans, going over all of that. Uh, then I also work two other jobs besides trading. Uh, July 1st, I am going back day trading. So you see this light speed right here. This is just a paper money account. Uh, and of course, you guys know when I swing trade, that's all real money. But you just got to get the back in the groove and stuff. So I've been practicing. I'm holding 500 shares of Cena overnight. I'm up 325 in that alone. But just for the day session, I traded one hour. And I made... Uh, about 250 uh, so then 325 on an overnight position on Cena uh, just a quick update what I'm watching tomorrow Cena is definitely going to be one of them uh, we're down about 23 percent just this month in the stock there's been a lot of fraud allegations against the company uh, saying that their books are cooked and that's also reflecting other Chinese stocks like Baidu uh, so who I haven't checked that but I'm sure they're all down all the internet giants over there in China so this is definitely on the watch list tomorrow it's had a huge sell-off uh, some of the levels why am I long this why am I anticipating maybe a short-term bounce tomorrow uh, all right so we tagged the 7958 level that I had been watching we hit 7961 low so if I'm going to trade this from a contrarian side point of view then what I'm gonna to wanna to do <clears throat> is buy it on a confirmed bottom tomorrow as long as we hold above the 79.58 and I'll look to play the rallies um, and I'm gonna to try to get a day trading video out there tomorrow me tr uh, trading Cena because this is my number one stock that I'm going to trade tomorrow also, just a quick update. I am short this BIOS. I have been short, I'll show you, for a while now. I got short of 743, which was right about here on this day. Okay? Then they ran it up to 785 before bringing it back down. I'm, I'm short actually a thousand shares of this. So I was a little panicked here, but I started feeling more confident when we didn't hold above this high right here it showed me after we got below this big candlestick that the step sellers would step in so tomorrow most likely I'll be just about a point in the money uh, so I'll take half of the shares off there and then of course my targets gonna be around six dollars a share for the other half it could go lower but I'm not trying to be greedy I'm just trying to make consistent gains and build my portfolio and my track record so one day I can open that hedge fund and investors will be more confident. Next one is ACAM. All right, sorry about that. I was just interrupted. So ACAM approaching the 200 week moving average on the daily chart. It had a bullish engulfing pattern today. It wasn't a big one, but it's enough to put this on our radar for maybe for a short term bottom and what we're gonna look for is a move over the thirty dollar level and how will I trade this okay so if I see some strength in the morning on the open I might put a buy stop out at a certain level and the level is gonna be twenty nine fifty three so for above that I'll probably get long and look for that move up to 30 maybe even 30 half tomorrow and you see going into the last hour of the day uh, we had some buying come through as for Netflix there are so many people that want to be short this stock they think it's overvalued they think it's a bubble and this was a pure technical breakout and after you saw the bearish engulfing pattern confirm on this day that's when everybody started taking their shorts and as for today we had 98,000 puts traded and 58,000 calls so 40,000 more puts 
We're going to see if we could get a bounce tomorrow. If I day trade this, it's going to be on light size, maybe 100 shares, max, maybe 200. Um, and this 247.55, that high that we put in in February, is going to be the level that we trade off of. If we hold below that, then the next level is going to be around this 236 which is the 20 week moving average it's pretty much a short term gauge if you're watching the weekly chart and you do have that uh, bearish engulfing pattern on the weekly time frame as well so Netflix could have a little more downside coming through Mosaic now this is some hard selling coming through I love this stock fundamentally it makes a lot of money just it's going down with the market commodity prices are moving down the dollars finally catching a bid crude oil went down so it's gonna show us consumers some relief at the pumps gold had an article saying that it's definitely heading to two thousand dollars an ounce I have believed that for a long time it's trading at 1529 today and as for the market that's gonna be the last thing I go over um, right after this mosaic so mosaic if we're under 64 you have to be short. Where'd I get the 64 level at? It's right around 927 of 2010. So that's September of 2010. We're watching that level here. Um, we got below it and just played accordingly. And we'll move to the minis right now. All right, so it's pretty simple here. 1263.20 is the level that we need to hold over to get a bounce up back up to the 1300 or at least to this downtrend from this internal trend line going back from the high in April. The saying is sell in May, go away, and then come back in July, and then you'll have a rally. That still could be the case, but if the dollar could get a bid, the market's going to continue going down commodities will continue going down now a lot of traders are watching the 1234 level so if we do give up the 1263 we're going to look for the 61.8 fib retracement level at 1234 to be our next target and by that time the 24 Five, or actually, um, excuse me, the 50 period moving average will be right around there. So tomorrow, our levels will be 1263, okay, and then 1268. Mark this on your charts, guys. Over 1268, you could start accumulating more of the mini contracts for a move back up to 1276. So you could get an easy eight points out of that if we could hold above 1268. Between 1263 and 1268, there's going to be a slight range. As you can see right here on the one hour chart, we'll see a range trading just like we did today before we went below that. And then we rallied back up to close above it. So 1266 is where we're at right now. And watch this. Whether we break down or break up, there's going to be some nice movement tomorrow anyways that's it good luck trading tomorrow and i will put out a weekly video tomorrow as well and i'm gonna try to get that day trading one out all right have a good night traders